The following question reads that a tennis ball falls freely in air from the top of a tall building. Which graph best represents the variation with time t of the distance s fallen? So we need to plot uh, time and distance s that has fallen. So here's your ball over here and this is the building and the ball is falling down that building. And the ball is initially at rest. So it's going to have a very low speed initially but uh, due to gravity, gravitational force, it's going to accelerate and it's going to gain speed. So as it moves down, its speed is going to become bigger. So as uh, speed increases, more distance would be covered. So initially lesser distance would be covered but as it travels and its speed increases due to gravity, uh, greater distance would be covered. So the graph is going to look uh, something like option C. If you look at option C, uh, what's going to happen is uh, that initially this, this vertical uh, axis is uh, distance. So initially lesser distance is covered. But as uh, time progresses, speed increases, more distance is covered. So the graph covers more and more distance in the vertical direction. But there's an issue over here. And that issue is that it the speed is not going to indefinitely increase. It's going to increase, uh, but it's going to become constant after a certain point when, when, uh, when air resistance starts becoming a factor because as speed increases, and remember he's talking about uh, about a tall building, which means that there is sufficient distance that's uh, that it's covering. So as speed increases, air resistance is going to become greater and greater. At higher speed, you have more air resistance which is going to try and prevent the ball from accelerating. It's going to cancel the effect of gravity. So speed would increase, but it would eventually become constant. So this option A graph looks perfectly correct. Initially, the speed is increasing. More distance is getting covered. Uh, so the graph is moving upwards. But at a certain point, at a certain high speed, air resistance becomes so high that it cancels the effect, downward effect of gravity. So gravity is pulling it downward. Air resistance is pus pushing the ball upward and the speed would eventually become constant. So after a certain point, speed would become constant. So this point over here is when the speed is constant now, or you can say that it is traveling at terminal velocity. So option A is going to be your correct option. The other options B and C are incorrect because in B, uh, the distance covered eventually goes to zero, which means that it slowly becomes uh, lesser and lesser. Although uh, so speed is increasing which means greater distance would be covered as time progresses and the same is the case both graphs uh, B and D have exactly or almost the same sh shape the speed is uh, decreasing another point I can point out is uh, that for a distance time graph uh, the axis uh, or the tangent is the is the velocity or speed of the object so in both cases, the tangent is becoming sh steeper. So in this case as well, the tangent is becoming greater, which means speed is increasing. And in this case as well, the tangent is becoming greater, but then it becomes constant. So the tangent of this of these graphs, that's velocity or speed.